Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Victor and in this video I'm gonna make some hot coffee. So if you would like some, just let me know what size you would like to order by subscribing to my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna build this app in React.js. But first, before I show you the other cool animation I, I've built in this app, uh, let's see what happens when we first time load this app. So I'm gonna refresh the page. I refresh the page, we see all these cups are shaking a little bit, all right? Now we see that on top of each cup, there is a vapor. Now, if I hover over one of these caps, they change the color, all right? They become gray. Now, if I click on one of those, one of these cups, for example, the medium one, the color stays gray, okay? It's changing the color. The vapor color is also gray. The title is changing here on top, medium. So if I click on another cup, we see that it, it also jumps a little bit, uh, two times. All right, so I'm gonna be building this animation in React.js. Um, yeah, I uh, in my previous videos, I, I usually, you know, build React.js apps with classes and then functional components. But in this video, I'm gonna I build this app just uh, just with functional components. I used hooks, so some of this data has been stored in in hooks. So um, if this is something interesting to you, let's go ahead and get started. There's gonna be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code. Uh, there's gonna be another link. Uh, for the live demo so if you want to take a look to see how this looks like on a live page you can click there and just take a look at it I'm gonna write everything from scratch in case you want to follow along with me so that being said let's go ahead and get started all right so I already created my react.js app I open my vs code in my folder here is my is the structure of my app so I have source folder in the source folder though I have an assets folder I just created it so in this assets folder, I have a background image. This is the image I'm using in my app. Uh, you can grab it from the from my repository. You know, link in the description from where you can grab the from where you can grab the source code. So uh, yeah, everything else is by default here. So if I open my app.js, this is uh, the file I'm gonna start with. Uh, actually, I'm gonna open my terminal just to start the npm start. I'm gonna start a new live server. And I'm actually gonna keep this tab as a reference because I've already built it just to show you what, I mean, which step I'm doing and at what, what stage we are to. Okay, so here I'm gonna open the local host 3000. Okay, this is what I have. So in my app.js, as I already said, I'm gonna be using, I'm, I'm gonna build this uh, app just with functional components. So in my app here, in the return function, I am going to remove everything except the app class. So everything I have here goes away. I am going to delete the logo from here. I don't need it. And yeah, this app is gonna stay here. I will just say hi and I'll save it. Just make sure okay, everything is fine. Now, I'm going to open the app CSS and in my app CSS folder uh, file, I'm going to delete everything except the app class because that's what I left in my app uh, JS file and here I'm gonna add some styling to my uh, app class so first of all I'm gonna add a background image this is what I have in my assets this is the image I was I'm going to use in this uh, class so this class basically is gonna have a background image uh, and that's it you know I'm just gonna make it uh, the height is gonna be full screen so that's kind of all for this class all right so background image the background image is your URL and the URL is assets and BG JPEG. Okay, now I have a background position. Background position like this, and the background position is center and 72.5%. Oops, I have a misspelling here. I got I guess I, 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 I had too much coffee. <laughs> okay, and then background size. The background size is cover. And width 100%. Height is 100VH, which means full screen. And I have box sizing. 
box sizing is border box and display table okay so I will save it I'm gonna go back and here's here's what I have this high is here and the background is changed okay now um, my app.js here I'm going to I'm gonna have to import <coughs> A component so I will have to create a new component there's gonna be actually a folder in the source folder I'm gonna create a folder and this is going to be components now in the components folder just make sure it's in the source okay now in the components folder I'm going to create another folder which is going to be the um, sizes All right, I'm gonna have sizes and here I'm gonna have a file which is gonna be size dot js size.js and I'm gonna have another file which is going to be the CSS for this component so it's gonna be size.css okay let's go back to app.js actually here in the size.js size uh, I'm just going to um, hmm. I'm just going to just create a component so I'm gonna have const size I'm not getting any parameters yet but here I'm gonna have a return function and in this function I'm gonna have an empty wrapper like this and here I'm gonna say size here and let me just do it like this I actually can wait like that. and then I'm going to export so export default si size actually make sure the size here is with capital letter here capital letter size size here like this uh, I'm gonna save it and here I'm gonna import it right below actually uh, we can just do it above okay see I'm gonna have import sizes from components slash sizes slash sizes size and then I'm gonna grab this size from here and in my app class uh, in my app class I'm gonna call it like this live like this for now let's see let's make sure everything works so we have sizes here everything works fine uh, make sure this is also a function it's a functional component I, I left function here we could I, I could use ES6 but I just leave it like that because it was by default it doesn't really make sense no, doesn't matter now in the app <clears throat> so basically here I'm gonna have two hooks I need to have two hooks uh, where I will store I have to store on which cup I already clicked and I'm gonna have another hook which is going to be the step because in case you want to have multiple steps here for example if you clicked on the medium if you click on the medium size after you clicked on the medium size that means you uh, and you have a button which is gonna say next that means you want to go to the next step so I'm gonna have a step in the hook step just for you to see how you can use it in case you want to have multiple steps in this app so in my app.js at the top I'm gonna declare my hooks so I'm gonna have hooks like this now the first hook is going to be the steps so I'm gonna have const step and here I'm gonna have set step this is how I'm gonna assign value to my step hook and then here I'm gonna use state boo use state bro use state and I'll say one because I want this st the step to be one by default now above here let's make sure I import react and the use state from react like this okay so I can use this function and the second one is going to be the size so I have const size set size and use state cheese use state and this is gonna be the size is gonna be empty by default alright I have this in place now it's time to kind of like create um, the, mm, the 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 coffee size so the sizes are here now I'm gonna I'm gonna save it it's gonna say that there is something uh, if I open the console it's gonna say that step is assigned value but never use step step blah 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 Okay, this is all cool we're gonna use them in the app but um, I don't know if you have react extension if you don't please make sure you install it because it's gonna 
add two more tabs here one is the components and one is the profile so i'm using the components. so if i click on the app now i can see the hooks are here the state you see hooks and they're like state hooks you don't we can't see the name of them but i know that this the first one is the step because this is i assigned one here and the second one is the size which is empty by default it's here okay i'm gonna use a lot this one that's why i'm mentioning now that make sure you have it all right so let's me let's go to the size size.js in the size.js i am going to have to import the size.css file because i'm going to add some style in the sizes so let's see how we can do that okay okay let's do it above here i'm going to have import slash let's do size.css size.css okay let's save it like this now in the size this opa oh, oh, oh. suze jeez size.css okay i should stop drinking coffee okay the sizes.css and here i'm gonna have just one class which is gonna be sizes and uh, this size actually i i misspelled this file anyways let's leave it like that it's okay in my uh, source code it's sizes here but i'm just gonna leave it size because it's the same name as it is here so it's all good okay now we have sizes here and i'm gonna have display flex and i'm gonna have justify content center and i'm gonna have align items flex end flex end uh, this is basically the block for the for the coffees, okay? And then I have min height is going to be 500 pixel, and I have grip gap. Grid gap is going to be 50 pixel, and the gap is going to be 50 pixel. Okay. I have this now let's go back to the size.js file I can actually close this because like just make sure one more time flex center flex and uh, min height 500 grid cap 50 pixels and the gap 50 okay so I have everything I need in that file I'm gonna close it now here I'm gonna get rid of this stuff and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a new folder in the components folder which is going to be the the coffee folder so here i'm gonna have a new folder coffee oh it's actually in the components okay so yep sizes different folder coffee different folder now in the coffee folder i'm gonna create a new file which is going to be coffee.js and this file is gonna have all this like all the, the the structure for one of our coffee sizes so i'm also create gonna create another file coffee.css this is a very important file uh, i can can actually don't know just skip this for now here okay this is the size coffee js co whoa, whoa whoa i misspelled it rename coffee css there we go okay all right, so uh, let me just create here const, uh, what's your name? Coffee, no props yet. And here I'm going to have a return and I will say here coffee like this. And I will export default coffee like this. Okay, save it. Uh, let's make sure I import the style so import coffee.css okay now in the size here i'm gonna import the coffee component so coffee from and what do we have here actually i'm gonna go back one step i'm gonna go to coffee slash coffee and here where i have the coffee uh where is it here and here i'm gonna have a div class name first of all it's gonna be div uh, class name and i'm gonna have that title from my demo so if i go back here i want to have this green line from the top okay so 
this is what I'm creating now. So this, this is going to be the step title. Step title. And here I'm going to say choose your size. And then below I'm going to have another div class name. And this is going to be the sizes. This is the one from the sizes file. I'm just I just closed this one. All right. Sizes. And here I'm going to have the sizes, but uh, first of all, I'm going to just call the coffee component in the sizes. So I'm going to have one, two, three. I'm going to have three sizes here. So I need three cups. All right. If I save this now, I go back here, choose your size, uh, and then coffee, coffee, coffee. Okay. Let me work on the title because I have to add styling for that. And I'm going to add the styling in the app CSS file. So, um, was the size step step title so i'm gonna add here step title and i'm gonna have a background color color is going to be zero a a two zero zero this is like that bright green which i like okay and then the padding 30 pixel and zero font size is going to be a 30 pixel and what else uh, text align center and also the text transform uppercase and the color is going to be white I like white here okay and the font weight font weight is going to be bold I like I like my titles on and my apps to be bold and visible yes i like it like this yep okay it looks good so you can change the f you can change the color you can change whatever you want this is just my you know my choice guys okay so um all right i have everything i need in my app css i'm just gonna get rid of it i'll close it i mean i don't get rid i'm just i mean i close it i don't delete it <laughs> okay let's focus on the sizes now so if i scroll down i have coffee 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 which means i have three coffees um now I want to create the cup here, all right? And before I do that, actually, there is a package that I want to install in my app. And it's called styled components package, this one. So here, if you haven't worked before, I definitely like how this package gives you the ability to play with inline styling, you know, like this. You have a const button and you assign style.a which is a link and then you add the style for your link like this and then after that you just use the button somewhere in your app like um, hmm, where is the button const button you can use variables here but you can use this button uh, here like this it's like a component but uh, it's actually a class kind of like a link you know I have href target rail primary okay so this uh, yeah I want to install this um, let's go down just to find out uh, here we go npm install save style component so I'm just gonna copy it from here make sure I copy it clean I will open my VS code I will stop my live server and I will paste this stuff here I'm actually gonna first of all I should type sudo because I'm using Ubuntu on my Windows machine so okay this is gonna take a while so I'm just gonna pause the video okay so it's done now I'm gonna start the server npm start and uh, here at the coffee here where I have all these coffees let's see if everything is fine I don't have any errors okay cool okay so um, here in my size.js file I'm gonna add the size as a prop as a property to this component so for example size is going to be first one is going to be small oh oop. second one medium and large so medium large like this now I save them I go to the coffee here and I will console log console log the props Actually, I'm gonna grab the props here now so I'm gonna have come on dude okay here props here we go all right so if I save it and go back here 
in the console I see that I have this small, medium and large. So this I have three copies here, which means three sizes. Okay, in the coffee.js it's very important now to import the styled components. So I'm gonna have import styled from and here actually like this styled components here we go okay uh, style components is in place I'm not gonna use it right now right now but here in the return function just gonna get rid of all this stuff from here and here I'm gonna have a class which is going to be mm, first of all I'm gonna create the coffee block so if I'm going back here to the demo and if I inspect it I have a sizes which we already created and then there's a coffee block for each coffee and then the coffee that I click on uh, I see that my app is being is adding a new class which is jump and this jump actually makes it jump this is the class that I'm adding to the um, coffee that I'm clicking on okay so uh, I'm going to create this uh, class now which is coffee block okay so let's go back here here and in the return function I'm gonna have the main one which is gonna be coffee block so div class name coffee block like this and here I'm gonna have a div class name which is gonna be the coffee it's a be it's a, a coffee div so I'm gonna have div class name coffee okay like this um, the coffee div is actually the, the the thing that you see the coffee inside you see this it's a little bit different the color right so if I open it this is the coffee the one on top so I'm gonna create that now so the coffee is here and then mm, below I'm gonna have a lead div class name lead actually I don't have to do that I leave it like this and then I have the actual cup so the lead is this circle around it that's a little bit lighter than the, the, the body so and then I have the cup so div class name cup like this and then I have the uh, the bottom side so I have class name uh, bottom okay like this so I save it now and go back here and I don't have anything yet because uh, I mean I'm not showing up anything here okay now the, the the thing here is I want to add now I have to add styling for for my cop okay I have the structure now I should add CSS to this stuff for me so I'm going to uh, coffee.css and I'm gonna add the coffee block here you know what guys actually well, I'm gonna just for the sake of time mm, if you go on my channel there's gonna be a link in the description uh, to this video too but if you go on my channel uh, I'm going to show you where that video is so I, I will have a link to this video where I'm creating this cop in CSS and HTML all right so if you want to more details on how I create this uh, cop you can watch this video there's gonna be a link in the description now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to copy the CSS file for this cop and I will just go over it I just I don't want to type it because it's gonna take a long time <clears throat> okay so there is the coffee block here this one there is the coffee block hover over so if I hover over the coffee block the cup and the bottom side of the cup is changing the background color uh, and there's a transition all 0 0.3 seconds easy out okay I have the style for the coffee coffee class which is background color um, this is the coffee on the top that circle if you remember this one from here and and then I have the lead so the lead is background color this uh, height 20 pixel border radius 50 pixel border 8 pixel solid Z index 9 position relative box shadow I have a box shadow for the lead 
and uh, animation animation <laughs> animation shake that's when that's when it shakes whenever we just load the page but let's just keep this let's just comment this shake animation I will I'll explain I'll create this I will explain how it works now it's just the style for the cop you know transition easy all that margin background color height width max width clip path it's a polygon and then I have the bottom side which is background color height border radius 50 pixels uh, this keep it um, vapor you know what guys let me just I'm going to I'm going to write everything from scratch. Sorry about that, guys. I realized that there is some more details that um, we have to cover. So, okay, uh, let me start with a coffee block first of all. Coffee block cursor pointer with 250 pixels. Okay, let's save this. Go back here, and we don't have anything yet. Okay, the next thing is next class is the coffee uh, coffee block. Yes, there is the coffee. Okay, so let's let me see where the coffee is. I'll copy paste uh, class by class. There is a background color, height twenty pixels, border radius fifty pixels, Z index ninety nine pixel, position relative, margin zero auto, and I put minus twenty eight pixels just because I already know the position of it. Um, with 23 uh, 230 pixels and this animation goes away i don't need that okay um the next one is the lead the lead uh this goes away so there's the background color d d d d, -D which is kind of darker height border radius border z index position and box shadow so if i save it now and go back to my app I'm gonna have this does the, the top side of the coffees you see here now it's time to add the actual cup all right so this is the cup I'm gonna get rid of this so I have transition all 0 0.3 as easy and out as use this for hover if this is this is basic stuff um, margin minus 18 pixels auto zero you can play with these pixels just to see where I'm using them why I'm putting them like this uh, background color height width max width clip path that's the polygon 50 pixels that's the position of the polygon look this is the polygon so I created it like this now we have three cups kind of thing that the bottom side is missing because if we look here the bottom side is little rounded so I want to add the bottom side now and the bottom side looks looks like this Background color, height, border radius, Z in exposition, width, margin, and transition. I use this for the hover. Uh, so if I go back now, we have these coffees here. But we don't have the vapor. <clears throat> we don't have the vapor yet. So the vapor is is the... the I, I think this is the best thing here. Um... To create the vapor we should create an animation first um, so what I'm going to do now let I'm going I'm gonna go back to the coffee JS here and here I'm gonna add the vapor uh, using the styled component so um, I do actually recommend you to go and watch that video from scratch where I explain how I build that from scratch uh, because it's gonna I think it's gonna be easier for you to understand what I'm gonna do here now but so to create this vapor I need to have s multiple span tags in my in my um, app on top of my uh, cop alright so here bear with me I'm gonna have const vapor1 and I will assign styled dot uh, span and this is gonna be like this and here I'm gonna have a variable is going to be v1 like this and I'm going to have 12 vapors in this app so I'm gonna have 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and I'm gonna have to change the numbers from here so I'm gonna have 2 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I have to do the same thing here, so I'm gonna have T three, four, five, ooh, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, now I will be able to use these vapors in my, here, in the coffee, above the coffee table, the, the coffee div, sorry, <laughs> coffee table. And I'm going to use them in the following way. I'm going to have vapor 1 and vapor 1 like this, like a component, right? So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So here's going to be 2 and 3. Four and five and twelve. <laughs> I read. I did all of them. Okay, so um, I have this like that. Um, now in the coffee section here, I want to add a class. Just I want to wrap them in a class, and this class is going to be uh, vapor. I uh, will call it vapor. So I'm gonna have div class name, and the class name is gonna be vapor, like this. And I'll grab it and I'll wrap the, the whole thing here, like this. And I will save it. And if I'm going back here, I don't see anything, of course. Now in the in the CSS file, let's go. Um, Let's go below the bot, the the bot, the bottom here, and I'm gonna add animation. So I'm gonna use the keyframes. I'm gonna have add, add keyframes, and I will call this animate. And here I'm gonna have zero percent. At zero percent, I'm gonna have transform. Transform. I'm gonna have translate y zero. Here, guys, easier. You can just pause the video. Okay animate I'm gonna have a 0% I'm gonna do transform translate 0 and scale X it's gonna be 1 opacity 15% opacity so just uh, let me just comment this you can write it down and comment it too. just keep it here because I wanted to to see where this animation is and then before and then right above it let's add a new class and this class is gonna be the vapor and I'm gonna have the vapor span style so I have the vapor here which is position relative display flex Z index one padding justify content center and then I have some styling for the let's comment this to you so I have this class only here if I save it now and go back to my app I'm not gonna see anything hmm, this is weird Okay, so this is vapor. Let's uncomment this one as well. Okay. So if we inspect it. Okay, let's inspect one of this. We can see. Okay, so here we go, guys. Here we have the coffee. And then in the coffee, we have the vapor class. And then we have the vapors and they're like like tiny lines on top of the coffee like this now we have a different class here span class just because we're using that package and that package is renaming the stuff animation delay I'll comment this out alright so we have the span background uh, filter blue opacity so if I take off the opacity here I comment this out the positive and I go back here we can see that's the way it looks now you see like the vapor but they're stuck now if I'm going to one of these spans and I remove the filter blur 10 pixel for example this is how it looks like you now thus 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we have 11 vapors all right now this blur this blur 10 makes it blur, uh, blurry. So if I refresh, it makes it blurry. Now I want to make it move. I want to make them go up, you know, like, like vapor. 
So that's why in order to do that, we have to use the keyframe like this. Keyframes uh, animate. This is the name of the animation. So at zero percent, tra tra the it transforms it to go from zero up. You know, opacity makes opacity one just to make it visible, and then transform minus one fifty pixel scale x five, and then makes opacity zero just to disappear, and then the transform translate minus three hundred pixels. So what this does, it goes up, 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 and then it starts over. Goes up, and then it starts over. Now let me uncomment the positive one here, and this is animate animation delay. So the animation is animate here. I call it here, and then five seconds linear infinite. Okay, this is the name from here, and then opacity zero just to, to dis, uh, disappear by default. We want to hide it, and then we have filter blur, ten pixels, and then animation delay. We have we calculate the var v. This is this one from here. This is a variable. So we grab the V and we multiply it by minus point minus 0 0.5 seconds. All right, so watch this, watch what's ha what happens now. See, we just made the vapor kind of animate, you know, but it's if you pay attention, it's like a cycle here. All right, you can play around with this percentage from here too. You can uh, make it go right a little bit, goes to the right or to the left. This one playing with Y, you can add translate X and translate Y. Just play with these two credentials from here. Okay, the vapor is is working now. Uh, what's left here is whenever we hover over. So whenever I hover over this cup, actually I want to make them different size because like right now it's just all of them are, are the same size. So let's go to coffee.js here. And add the coffee, actually no, coffee.js. Coffee okay, in the coffee.js, we will have to play with the height of the cup. Okay, so um, we're getting some props here. Mm, props. Okay, now based on this size, we can actually create the, the size, make them different, different. Like for example, here props. Let's have, uh, we will have a let. So for example, let style. And here we will have, let's say, height. Uh, this is going to be the inline style. So I'm adding an inline styling here. Height. So I'm going to assign to this height if the props.size equals small so if it's small if the cup is small then i'm assigning 200 pixel otherwise if the props size uh, the prop size is medium then i assign 250 pixels okay otherwise i assign nothing Right, and then I grab this style and I add it to the cup like this style. Style. I save it, go back now, and we have three different sizes. And this size is based on the prop from here. Okay, now I want to make this functionality so whenever I hover over and I click on this app, I am uh, they change the color, the background color, and um, they stay, you know, the, the color is, ch is changing and whenever we click it stays the same color. Okay, now what we should do, this is the time when we use the, the hooks here. And we will have to add more uh, props, properties to this component. So uh, let's expand our app JS a little bit. Now here below it, below these hooks, we will have a const. Const next step. This is going to increase our step. So we won't have here any any parameters but we will have set step we will just do set step and it's gonna be step plus one it, this is just gonna increase the step the, the step hook from here and then also we will have another const which is going to be clicked clicked item clicked item item and here we'll have set size and the set size is going to be item. All right. So um, 
item set size we will change the size this is how we will update the size so basically this component is gonna catch on which size we clicked so we click on the medium for example we will fire this cons this function and this function is gonna update the size with the size we just clicked on and we will store it in the state in the in the hooks okay clicked item and we will have another const uh, another function which is going to be the step switcher so we'll have const step switcher and we'll grab the step and we will output uh, we will dis uh, display components based on the step so for example uh, current step we will have a let current step and this is going to be empty uh, initially it's gonna be empty and then we'll have a switch we'll grab the step so based on the step case 1 so if the step is 1 then here we assign to the current step uh, we assign um, the size component so we have size oops size like this and we also have uh, break like this and then there's the default case default is gonna be the same thing so now remember I'm just gonna show you how to increase the step and I'm showing you the structure but if you would like for example after this to have some flavors whenever you after you clicked on it for example in the demo after you clicked you want to have a button which is gonna say next and you go to the flavors this is where you add a new case you create a new component and you call it like this okay so I have this in place uh, size well it, yeah yeah okay everything is good now here where the size is the sizes are wait this needs to be sizes because it's sizes we don't have size yep okay now here we should call the the function we call now the switcher step switcher like this and step switcher and we send the step current step to this step switcher so we can grab it here so if i save it and go back we don't have anything here <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> step switcher we send the step step one current step sizes uh, okay uh, I forgot to return it here okay I need return current step okay now I save it go back here we go we have the coffees here okay let's make this functionality the click functionality so here here is how I'm gonna build this functionality okay Whenever I hover over this cap, I'm, it, the color is going to change, but that's just CSS. Now, whenever I click on this cap, I will call this function from this component. Okay, I will call this function, and this function is going to assign the size as to the hook, to the size hook. After that, I will, I, this is going to happen only when I, every time I click on one of these sizes. Okay, it's gonna, this is going to be called update the hook and then after update i update the hook i send the data from the hook to the sizes uh, component and then the sizes component is going to send it to the coffee js so in this way i have it here so here i can play with it just uh, here i will know which cup needs to be gray okay here we are bear with me okay now here in the current step i'm going to add properties okay so the first property is next step so next step and I assign the next step function this one also I am gonna have another one which is gonna be a clicked item clicked item and I assign the clicked item okay clicked item so I click I clicked on it uh, I clicked on it it fires this okay and then, then and then I'm gonna send the size so I have clicked size and this is gonna be just a simple uh, property these are functions too but this is just a property and I send the data from the hook 
okay I'm sending it to the sizes component uh, now I'm gonna copy it and I will paste it here because I want it to be the same thing by default here in case the step is other than one so I will save it now and if I'm going to the sizes here I can console log just to show you what props we are getting here so we should get the props here like this so if I open this and inspect it go to console I get an object so in this object I get the size small let me make sure I don't have any other console here console log I comment this out okay go back refresh one more time so here what look uh, clicked size is empty clicked item is a function clicked size is empty because I didn't click on anything yet and the next step is a function okay this comes from that all right I hope this is uh, <laughs> clear but if not guys you can just play with this play with this more and just learn it by yourself because it's kind of difficult to, um, to explain it but look so we get the props here now we should send all these props from size to the coffee component okay so to do that um, I'm gonna delete them because I, there's a lot of stuff to add in here so I'm gonna add here the following it's gonna be clicked size just uh, okay clicked size clicked size from here like this and I will assign the props clicked size props dot clicked size and then here is gonna be the clicked item the wordder doesn't really matter but props dot clicked item and then the next one is the next step okay next step and props dot next step okay so I save it that's the small okay just for the small now I'm gonna copy and just add it two more times for the medium and for the large medium and large so I save it and go back okay we have them like this now in the coffee JS file we go to the coffee JS and here we have to add mm, a few components to so the first one because that's how we will handle all the stuff so the first one is gonna be const and we have next step here we grab the size and then here we have props dot next step because we call this function from props now and we send the size to this one to the next step coming from here next step and coming from here next step and it's right here so that's how we call it okay and we uh, size prop next step size we don't really have to send anything there but just let's leave it like this <coughs> I mean about I'm, I'm talking about pr uh, parameters and then here is the check item uh, checked item and clicked clicked item like this so we have one const clicked item all right it's clicked item and clicked uh, clicked size okay so we have these three components now here okay they are here and they're also in the app.js but we need them here because that's how we call we send the data through the props to the main file app.js okay now what we want to do here is the following in div class where we have the coffee block in the class name uh, I want to add a okay, first of all let me I will save it let's add colors whenever we hover over these cups I want to change the color so let's go to the coffee CSS and just get rid of this coffee CSS and let's go right uh, below this cup here and here I'm gonna do the following coffee block hover cup and then coffee block whenever I hover over coffee block I want to make the cup and the button uh, the bottom of the cup uh, this color so if I save it and go back now if I hover over them I change the color like this okay now there's gonna be a class that I'm gonna uh, assign whenever I will click on on this one uh, so whenever I click on one of these cups I want to add an extra class okay so here where I have the coffee block now I'm gonna do um,
like this curly brackets I will check props if props dot clicked size equals props dot size I'm adding coffee block and the jump class okay otherwise I'm just gonna add the coffee block only and at the same time here I'm gonna add an on click event and here I'm gonna call the clicked size clicked size and I'm gonna send the props dot size like this okay so if I save it now and I go back here okay expected this is this can happen when component really set state inside component will update okay so well, let's see something is going wrong here on click clicked size just because I missed here we should do like this so it doesn't get called right away okay it is gonna get called only whenever we click on it so we go back here so everything is fine now if I click here it gets called but if I inspect it for example we go here we go we see that it adds the jump class look at the small one it adds the jump class like this okay as the jump class coffee vapor now I want to add the jump class here in the CSS so I change the color of it so uh, let's see where that is here jump class and okay this does this is extra this is animation we'll create that later on so what I have here jump cop and jump vapor span and jump bottom which is the color okay so if I save it now and go back here and I start clicking on this one so it's changing the color for the vapor for the cup and for the bottom side okay now uh, whenever I load the page I want them to be shaking a little bit so in order for me to do that let's go back to the CSS file and um, I'm gonna have to uh, oh uh, also whenever I click on it I want it to jump a little bit so let's do that first so here we go whenever we add this class so this class is gonna have the clicked size animation now the clicked size uh, animation looks like this clicked size at zero percent transform translate zero you know this is the, the thing that makes it move up and down a certain percentage so if I save it now and go back here and if I click on one of these cups you see that they are shaking like this okay and also whenever we load the page I want them to be shaking so in order for me to do that we should add another key keyframe animation I'm gonna do that all the way down here like this this is how it looks like uh, this is how they will shake from left to so uh, to right really quick um, so I'm gonna copy this shake and I have to add it everywhere like on the on um, where is it look I'll copy I want to add it to the uh, before coffee to the coffee in the following way animation I get the shake 0.4 seconds easy in so we start from the coffee and then we add it to the lid like this and then we add it to the cup like this and to the bottom side like this okay so if I save it now here and I make close this and if I refresh it they're shaking all right if I click on one of them they're jumping and the color is changing too all right now I want to change this title from here whenever I click on one of these sizes to do that I'm going to size.js and here where this title is uh, I will do the following I'll crop it and I'm gonna have curly brackets I'm gonna have like an if statement so if props dot clicked size if this is valid then I will output the props clicked size props dot clicked size otherwise I will out output just the choose your size so if I save it and go back now here I refresh click on medium the medium is updating large 
and so on okay let me see if I missed anything just make sure everything okay so uh, I'm just gonna go over it one more time guys so here what happens in the coffee here okay we sent this three uh, two functions one is updating the step and one is updating the size here okay and we send these functions as props to the sizes now in the size here uh, we call this this uh, the coffee component three times and each time the, the only difference is the size which is one is small medium and large okay and we also send we get we grab the prop the props from the from this one and we send them the same way like this okay but we just are adding an extra one from this component now here in the coffee js we grab all the props and we create components for each of these props so we have so we can call these functions we create this doesn't matter what function what name you put in this component but this one the props dot next step is very important because that's how it's named here clicked size clicked item next step you see um, so what I did here is the following whenever we click whenever somebody clicks on the coffee block so for example I click on the coffee block there is the on click event and gets fired the clicked size component and I send the props dot size which is this one I send the size to the clicked size now the clicked size grabs the size as a parameter and it calls the next step with the size okay I send the size to the next step which here it doesn't really matter we can actually remove it from here so in this way it calls just the next step it gets fired next step next step calls the function from the props which is next step and that from the props is this one here and this does it updates the step and makes it plus one now next the same function whenever I click uh, clicked item function is being called and I'm uh, sending the size as a parameter now here the size becomes item I grab the item here and I call the clicked item and sending the item which is the size in my case so I'm going here clicked item grab the item set size I update the size using set size so look if I save it now here it's still gonna work because I removed that parameter we don't need that parameter look it works so if I inspect it now I'm going to components refresh for example app component has state uh, step one and the size is zero it's nothing it's empty by default now if I click here the state becomes large hook becomes large the step is T so every time I click the step is increasing the size is changing here boom 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 so um, whenever I click these two functions are get are being called so here this function updates the size now next what happens is here on the clicked size I send back I send back to the component the size after it's been updated so in this way I send the size back uh, here to props uh, clicked size clicked size prop props clicked size here and I send it all the way to coffee.js now I have that from the hook and here I'm checking if the props clicked size it's equal to the props size which that means if it's equal then that means I clicked on the current on the on on this cop okay and if, it, if they are equal I add the jump class if not I just add the coffee block and the jump class what what it does it makes it jump okay a little bit and it changes the color of the cup so that's all that's the whole logic guys it's um, I hope you I hope it was clear for you but if you have questions just leave them in comments and I will do my best to um, to explain a little bit more um, I hope you liked the video if you if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe for my channel and I will see you guys in the next video